Right then, boys and girls, it's Kingfish UK. Here we go. Still at Chernobyl's last stand, VIP game. Just a quick look at the map, show you where we're going from from the previous video. So we uh, come out the building, do a right hook, uh, come on the skirt the edge of the map, and come into another building to, make, to uh, hold our right hand side. And the Reds are still pushing in, uh, still trying to get around the back of us, so we're trying to stop that. Let's get straight into the video. It's easy to hold upstairs. Right, we're still upstairs. Uh, carrying on from the previous video. I think it's far right. I think they're trying to come through. We're just it's starting like a wall to just uh, there. push the reds back on this right hand side. Right. We're still upstairs, keeping an eye on, see if anything's happening up here. But there's a few lads just off to our right, pushing the ground floor on the right hand side here. They've got the advantage. Once you're over that top, they could be inside that bunker. And it's yeah, we still there. could be in that bunker on the left there. Them. that I'm looking at. Fucking boring. We'll take that map when we, if we've got the what is it? Because our spawn points here, our extraction points right there. Yes, yeah, so sir. So we've got it. That got open ground just outside the window is our extraction point. If we get the VIP, a couple of our boys pushing into the right hand bunker. It's just a long range shot. There's a lad in that far window. And see how high out to uh, aim that thing. <laughs> that made him, made Got through the window, but didn't hit him. Oh, didn't hit him. Yeah, yeah. Oh, first a long striker. Range shot. Watch yourself. We do get quite a lot of uh, first strikes that piling through yeah, this window, these windows. Overwatch. Um, whizzing in soon. Careful of the bunker when you go in it. Whoa. Yeah, there's one. Lewis paps himself. That was his first striker in this build, far left building. He can, he can, eat, he can piss this. He can piss this up easy. Yeah, there's about four or five of them come in, just missing us. So I'm always moving around just a little bit, trying to stand still. Don't want anybody to get a bead on me. The lads below us trying to push forward into this uh, next building in front. Yeah, I'll get my mine's gonna be a rifle, but there's not gonna be many times that you're gonna use it because everybody wants to fucking use them. I know they're limited, but you know, if you can use first strikes, fuck me. You can fire that far. If you go first strikes, no, no, you can carry as many first strikes as you want, but you're only allowed first strikes, and then from in here, you've got to have a pistol. Yeah, so we start oh, yeah, chewing the fat pistol, about buying a bolt action, so we can use FS uh, first strike. I can't see FSRs. Out. Someone's just pushing forward, just clipping. Yeah, fucking it. Thank you. And the saying is true, you put a paint ball, put a paintball mask on, <laughs> your true lads, colours come out. Strike in the top of that wind, top left uh, building. paintball ridge. Yeah, 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 you're 10. And those two lads are running Probably. the sniper gauntlet. Out, he was over on this right. I think they start getting a couple of rounds in on him. Yeah, he's getting, he's getting clear shots on us from here. Not a headshot yet, but he's, bit, he's been busy, you know, whizzing him through window. Like that. <laughs> just another, another, one. another first strike round coming in. He's in that top floor. One does a run it. I heard that one was fast. If you're pushing, if you're pushing up. <laughs> <laughs> Did you hear him downstairs? That was funny. Running the gauntlet of the sniper. It's up to you boys, we can bug out because it looks like we push further forward or we can hold this. We push round to the right there, haven't we? Yeah, we push round to the right. We're, we're at this building here. I, I think we should try and push around back Yeah, so now we've uh, consolidated the area. We're going to uh, start pushing up with the rest of the boys. Uh, maybe. Grab a bit more uh, real estate. Can do. We can do something exciting. Yeah. You want to do something exciting, Lewis, or are you quite happy? Yeah, I can do. Right? 
Time to bug out. Just make our presence felt. So the lads in the uh, the reds that are still in this uh, left hand building, just in front. Yeah, that one that I'm looking straight at. Yeah, just so they realise there's a little bit of movement slowing here. Give us yeah. three or four we'll minutes before they realise that this building's empty. Respawn, look of it. He's right other end of the map. So Hedgehog's been taken out by the look of it, as I just said. If we go... I can turn this into a DMR, can't I? That's, that's blue. You know what, this is our extraction point. You can turn that into a DMR. Sweet. Hang on, change your mind. Yeah, so at this point I'm thinking about cutting straight across that to the building like to our right. Sort of doing a big arc. Yeah, so so the lads, uh, the reds that are in the building, sort of off at, my, off at our um, 8 o'clock um, behind me, don't see us leaving the building. Thinking? I'm thinking going across that right hand building. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, so they don't see us from that left hand building that we're leaving this building. Right, okay. Basically. We're going to go out here and flank around. Well, the we have to go straight, straight across and then come to the left, but we're roasting if anybody's in here. So okay. I bet you they haven't been in there because it's fucking pitch black. There's blues over there. Yeah, I just spot some blues just off to the left, past really this left hand building, so we sack the uh, long route and go for the quick short route. Yeah, this bunker that we're coming to here, there's a couple of once you're inside, it's pitch black in there, so that's entrance number one. Entrance number two is just off to, uh, just basically straight in front. Basically, you can walk in that first entrance and come out this second entrance. And if it ain't cleared out properly, you know, there could be some reds in right. there just sat in the darkness waiting for you to go past, and then they could come up behind us and say hello. So, yeah, just pushing along, just getting the edge of the boundary. Yeah, this tarmac road is the uh, boundary of the map. Safe zone is off to the right, just past that white building that I'll look at in a minute. That um, building that I'm looking at with the windows, yeah, straight in front. That's where the reds are, they've been there all game. I've seen game. at least three of our boys push up. So this lad and Lewis clear out the um, bottom half, this left hand side of, um, there's like another bunker on the back of this building. And look at, yeah this building's like a bunker, just off to the left there you can see the blast bank that leads into the back of it. It's like another black, black hole in there. Spot Bongo, just gonna see what um what's happening. What do we have, sir? Oh. We pushed out the four in that mouth. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That was satisfying. Now everyone seems to be occupied with this building over here, but I think this building here would serve as a better. Yeah, so he's basically saying there's quite a few well blues yeah, gone over to the right. Well if we get in there, we'll just get in there. Their extraction is here, isn't it? No, they're we want to be really in this building in front. He's in the open ground at the other side of the buildings. Because this yeah. building just so off to our left that we're going to breach in a second. Yeah, we need to push up because it's a big group. If they do get the buildings just off right to our right, it stops them from coming across the road. Right, fuck it. I'm going to go straight in. Yeah, so we're not entirely sure if this is clear. We'll get in this way. If there's yeah. reds in it, or if there's blues in it. A little bit of footage, you see a little bit of movement down that far end. I think he's blue, because he's looking the wrong way, so I'm not really clearing these ground floor rooms out properly. I'm sort of 80% sure this lad's blue. <whistles> Get my gun up. Blue? He's upstairs alright. What's upstairs like? So yeah, the lads that's just appeared off to the left is the lad that went into that far left hand side of this place with Lewis. Cleared out the sort of yeah, mini in. bunker, pitch black in there as well. On a previous time I was here, I, I went through there and surprised a couple of uh, opposite players, opposite team players in there. It's sneak up around there quite easily, catch a couple of people out. Just clear this top floor up properly. Just spot one. Just miss him. Lucky, lucky boy. Bottom building. 
Left. Yeah. yeah. We aren't good view, just looking through these drill holes. Yeah, ground this door. Floor. I see him. Yeah, I see him. I've got a right baby on him. You're not going to line up on him, Bongo, before you get to him. He's on ground floor. Oh, he's moved. He's moved left. Yeah, he's moved left. Yeah, so this is where the Reds, that building in front, of, the Reds have been in there all game so far. You want to come in here, Bongo? Yeah, so they're in the toilet block area, sort of that extension where I'm still pointing my uh, barrel at. Fucking dare you. Just get distracted in one spot so it gets around off me straight away. So I'm ducking down. They're in the toilet block, top floor, far left. Top floor, top windows in the corner, far right, the toilet block. There's one in there now. Far right window, top floor. Yes, yeah, so Bongo's running his first strikes with his bolt action. Uh, I don't know. We just have one coming in. Yeah, so at this point, I'm thinking about seeing if one of these right hand yeah. windows gives us an yeah. angle on the uh, toilet block on the right, but it do not Anybody got the stairs? Not entirely sure how many of us are downstairs with uh, no comms between us. So it's a little bit difficult with communication. Just checking these angles. I always sort of wander off. Do like a random walk. You might catch a couple of people out. Trying to be clever from the other team. Coming around the back of you. Because all of us are um, concentrating on this front uh, front side here. Or this left hand side. Depending on how you're looking at the building. I always like to go where uh, like everybody is. Just to make sure we're safe. We've got nobody sneaking in the back, as I've said. Couple of lads leaving. I think they're empty. You done, boys? Yeah. Is that you done? Red's coming up along the road on the right-hand side. If you want a decent shot, Bongo. Right. Stefan's been it. Here. Yeah. So I think there's quite a lot of fluid action just over the other side of the road in these buildings. Very CQB on the right-hand side through the uh, through the buildings on the right. Just a little bit too far out of range, really. I don't really want to waste paint. It's like a, it's, there's a sniper. Good 80 meters back. See who that lad was running, running back from. You still there, Bongo? Right, cool. The DMR lad off to this right. So it's a little bit slower this video. But that's fucking slim, you know. <laughs> <laughs> well, as I say, it's a little right. bit slow this video. I like to show it's all just, the game. It's just us two up here, so I'm going to. It's not stairs. just all guns blazing. Well, I don't think anybody downstairs. Clearing out buildings every second. There's lulls in every game. And even if you just stood around doing nothing, you, if you're holding a building. You're holding it for your side, so you're holding real, real estate. Just checking downstairs, make sure we've still got it. There was a DMR lad that was shooting at you before you ran back in. It was far right. Your 12 o'clock is looking at it, but on the road. Yeah, yeah that's the same lad I was looking at. There's a couple in the toilet block on the left hand side. Just giving him some information, so he knows what's going on. 
Lewis? Yeah. Right, cool. Yeah, so Lewis is down the corridor somewhere. I'm not entirely sure where he was. It does come up near the end of the video. It's a good day. It's hard going. Quite a lot of the day it was. The blues were. Uh, There's a couple I of blues say the out red, there. Sorry. Pretty on the ball all day. It was a damn good game. Hard fought. It wasn't just a walk over, which is always good. Yes, there's a little bit of contact here. I can actually see a couple yeah. of reds just looking at the other building on the other side. We've got the back to me. So I'm trying to get it through that window there. You can see, you can just see it moving around at the bottom of the uh, bottom of the shot cam. I don't get them, but the the rounds are going through. Can all this thing makes a right noise? Yeah, it's got some real good accuracy and range on this gun. Considering she's only got an eight-inch barrel on her. Still in that far window. Just spot on. Just miss him. Just left the fire. Far firing. right, movement, far right, red. Just left the fire and just a little bit too late. Lewis? Movement, far right, red. We're going into the embassy, other yeah, side of the road. We're all investing in some comms just so we know what's going on. We did get a little bit lost after we got shot. We didn't all stay together, which is a bit a bit annoying. It's always good to work as a team. And even if you get shot out, we try and get back to the same position if your teammates are still there. You get to know how, we, how each other plays. on this right, just the other side of the road. Make sure I'm just trying to sneak through the tree line. Coming through the front door without being seen. Starting to get a little bit thin in this building. There's about maybe three or four of us left in this building now. Just trying to be Trying to put myself around in the building, make sure it looks like there's more people in here than there actually is. It's still in that building. It's just a little bit of a stick. Yeah, the uh, Helix mags I have a problem with them every now and again. They're, they're uh, still original Gen 1, so I'm probably going to get some Gen 2s in and around Christmas time. Give Still in the toilet block on the left hand side. Give myself a little bit of an upgrade. Yeah, so on the first strike just whizzes past me. Oh. Yeah, I'm a, bit, a little bit of a shit myself moment. Should have really learned my lesson really though on that one. I think it's the same lad. About a minute's time. Just grazes the top of my shoulder as I'm walking back down this corridor. Couldn't see him for love the money though. One of our lads has just pushed up to the building in front. Yeah, he's there just off to the right, I think he got taken out pretty quick. So, just coming up to the end of this video in a minute. Uh, I get taken out 
just knew that, well I do get taken out at the end of this video but there's probably by the time I get back to the respawn there's um, two minutes left on the clock yeah, didn't, not much else happened after that really by the time I got anywhere the game was over I wasn't too sure on the score on this one I think we captured the VIP right on the uh, right on the end of the game not entirely sure just hear a little bit of movement Something friend oh, Lewis coming up. Hell, Lewis. They ripped your head off. You alright? This is why I just get grazed on the shoulder. Oh, hey! My first strike. What? Got my shoulder. I hope you've enjoyed this video. I'll post another one next week. I'll catch you all first later. Strike. Get my shoulder. Pop, isn't it? <laughs>